I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. But we're going to do Tavenin from the get-go, right? I just want us to explain Tavenin from, the, from, from scratch. And I want you to see that Tavenin uh, is more like a combination of Om slow, right? It's more like a combination of Kichok slows. And then there is a law in N2 called the voltage divider rule, right? So Tavenin is a combination of voltage divider rule. It's a combination of Kichoks and it's a combination of Om slow. Are we together? Mm -hmm. And that's for the that I'm using, I'm using this blue one by Arabi Van Hedden, Hedden, something, something. I'll take a, a screenshot of the exact exercise that we're doing and I'll put it there. So, let's start. Uh, I'm going to draw the circuit that, that we did the last time and I want to explain it from, from scratch, right? As if we've never done it before. So this is the circuit, I think it looks like this. Let me double check from the textbook. It's this one with the eight ohms and the six ohms. So this is the circuit, right? Uh -huh. Then you've got another resistor there. Then you've got your battery here. Like this. Then here is your load resistor like this. And then VT here, let's call this one V1, was given as 12 volts. And then this one, your RL, was given at 12 ohms. And then this one, V2, was given at 9 volts. This one, R2, was given at 6 ohms, and then this one, R1, was given at 8 ohms. Are we together? So, here is how we do the bending, right? Now, if we say open circuit, right? If we say we are opening circuit, it's the same thing as removing the resistor. Are we together, mm -hmm. right? So, let's, let's do the steps. Step number one, right? You short circuit, right? Yeah. You short circuit V2. All it together. Yeah. That's step number one. After you short circuit V2, step number two, right, is you open circuit. You can say remove, but remove is still correct, but it's not like the proper English to use. But anyways, as long as it doesn't matter which English that you use. But if someone says open circuit and if someone says you remove the load resistor, that's one and the same thing. Open circuit is slightly more more accurate than remove the resistor because if we remove the resistor we don't know if this path remains closed or open so if we say open circuit it simply means that rl is actually open circuit i want you to get right so second step is you open circuit rl i want you to get now after open sec after opening circuit rl let's just redraw it so that we see what our circuit looks like now so your circuit you still have got your v1 which is here right and then you've got your R1, and then you've got your R2. Now, we've short-circuited V2. Now, short-circuiting means we are taking this part and we are running a wire through the battery, right? That's short-circuiting. So we short-circuit V2. So V2, this is the part where V2 was, but it's not there anymore. Are we together? Yes. And you say the second step is you open circuit RL. So open circuiting RL and removing, I don't know if you call that the same thing. So this is the part where RL was here, right? Mm -hmm. RL was here. So we open circuit. Mm -hmm. Normally we we'll write A to B, one and the same thing. Mm -hmm. So after this, right, we are now going to use kitch of slows and that voltage divider law from N2. I don't know if you still remember it. That voltage divider law from N2 says if you've got two resistors, right? Mm -hmm. Like this in series, and their resistance is unknown, right? Mm -hmm. Their resistance is unknown and the total voltage is known. You are able to determine the voltage drop on each resistor. Are we together? Yeah. You can use this voltage divider law also for current. If you've got two uh, resistors like this in parallel and their resistance is unknown, right? And then the total current is known. You can accurately determine the current passing through here and the current flowing through there. Are we together? Yeah. So in this case now, this is what our circuit now looks like, right? Now, after this, we are going to use, uh, uh, let me explain Tevenin, right? So we're going to use V Tevenin 1. Now, let's explain what V Tevenin 1 is. V Tevenin 1 is the voltage at A, B. Are we together? 
But in order for us to get the voltage at AB, right? Let's discuss why exactly the voltage for AB and which values are we going to get to get the voltage for AB. Now, R2 and RL, after V2 has been removed, these two are now in parallel, right? And if they are in parallel, voltage in parallel remains the same. Mm -hmm. So if you calculate the voltage that is passing through R2, R2 will be the same voltage that is flowing through R L. Are we together? So these two, the voltage that will flow through when V2 is short circuited, the voltage will still be the same. Are we together, right? So using the voltage divider law, right? Because this resistance is none and that resistance is none. We are now able to determine the voltage drop in any of these two resistors. So we are not going to use R1 because R1 is not in parallel with RL. The same voltage that is flowing in R1 is not the same voltage flowing at RL. Are we together, right? But the voltage flowing in R2 is the same voltage at RL. Are we together, right? So in this case, it will be R2, right? <clears throat> it will be R2 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by Vt or V1. Are we together, right? Now, this is that voltage divider law. So the way the voltage divider law is the sum, right? That's what you're going to make your denominator. And the one that you want to calculate, like let's say for example, we want to calculate voltage drop at R2 here, right? So it will be the resistance of R2 divided by the sum of R1 and R2 multiplied by the total. Since according to Kirchhoff's laws, right? Uh, let's do Kirchhoff's second law. Kirchhoff's second law says, Vt is equals to V1 plus V2. Are we together, right? That means the voltage that is being used at V1, right? Now let's call this one R1 and R2. The voltage that is being used at R1 here, right? Plus the voltage that is being used at R2 is equal to the voltage that is being used at Vt. And the voltage that is being used here at R1 is largely dependent, right? Or you can say it is directly dependent on the resistance at R1. Are we together? So the resistance at R1 is, is, is directly, you know what I mean? It's the same voltage, right? I mean, the voltage that is used at R1 is exactly proportional to its resistance. The higher the resistance, the higher the voltage that we use. Are we together, right? So, this is the, that voltage divider law. Are we together? That's what it stands for. And then this is an example of Thevenin. So if you look at Thevenin's first item, that is your voltage divider law in use. Are we together, right? So this, instead, of, instead of us using H, we can't use H. H is in item here. Are we together, right? So it's going to be R2, the value for R2 is 6 divided by 6 plus R8. Multiply by 2. Was that 24? Let me just double check. It was 12. I forgot to put one there, right? Multiply by 12. What do you get your answers, Minas? It's 5.143 volts. So 5.143 volts is the <coughs> voltage drop at R2, right? Or is the voltage drop here at this R2? Are we together? And because R2 is in parallel with this one, so this one and that one is the same voltage. Now, after that, we do the exact same thing, right? But on the other side. We do the exact same thing, but on the other side. So it will be step number three, the short circuit. Which resistor mineral are we short circuiting? The sum around V1, right? Short circuiting V1 means this V1 is out of the picture. Our circuit now looks like this. You don't have this V1 anymore, right? This V1 has been short circuited. And then step number four is you open circuit. Open circuit and removing, I don't prefer using the word removing because after you remove, what did you do to the wires? Did you join the wires together? Then that's now a short circuit, right? So I don't prefer the word removing. I prefer we use the word open circuit. Are we together, right? Now, after you open circuit R2, uh, I mean RL, then you do the exact same thing that you did here, right? But now, our circuit now looks exactly like this. Are we together, right? Now, if our circuit looks like that, it is going to be V Thevenin 2. Are we together? V Thevenin 2 is equal to which resistance now? Come in. Uh, you're saying we are short circuiting 8 ohms. Now, why exactly are we short circuiting 8 ohms? Because 8 ohms is in parallel with RL. After removing this resistor, uh, this 
this uh, power source. After short circuiting this power source, R1 and RL are now in parallel. And the voltage flowing at RL is the same voltage that is flowing at R1. So it's going to be R1 over R1 plus R2 multiplied by V2. Two. Are we together? So it will now be equals to 8 divided by 8 plus 6 multiplied by V2, which is equals to 9. What do you get your answer as? 5, 1, 1, 4, 3. 1, 4, 3 volts. Are we together? Right? Now, let's move over to the other parts as well. Now, let's talk about the polarities of the battery because that's the most important thing. So I also got asked the question is how do you determine the polarities of these batches? And then someone said the polarities of these batches are opposing each other, right? But that's not what we are interested in, right? We're not interested in these two batches. We're interested in what's going on with this load resistor. Are we together? So the most important part should be is this V1 supplying the load resistor and from which direction? And is this V2 supplying the load resistor and from which direction are we together? So in this case, V1, like let's say you decide to use conventional current flow, which is what I hate, but let's say you're using conventional current flow, right? So V1 flows like this. The current from V1 goes directly like this. Are we together, right? And the current from and the current from V2 also goes directly like this. Are we together? Now according to Kitchoff's Currents entering a point should be equal to Kirchhoff's first flow. Oh, we can wait. According to Kirchhoff's currents entering a point mm. is equal to currents leaving a point. Are we together? So both these two batches are feeding. These two batches are not fighting each other, right? One batch is not taking from the other one. These two batches are all feeding the same spot, right? Because these two batches are all feeding the same spot, therefore we add our together. But if this battery was feeding this spot and this battery was also feeding it in the opposite direction, right? If this battery was taking current in the other side, like let's say for an example, just an example, this battery is like this, right? That would mean that this current is gonna go like this, and these two currents from V1 and the current from V2 who will then fight each other. Then we would subtract. How would you get? Oppose. Oppose. How would you get? Then we we'll subtract the voltages. But in this case, they are not. So there's no reason to do that. Right? So we are going to say V in total is equals to V in 1 plus V in 2, which is equals to 5,143 plus 5, 143. What does that give you? 10,286. Oh man, I'm awesome. 10,026. Now, let's look at 10,026. And let's talk about what does this voltage mean. Are we together? Now, this 10,026 is the total voltage that is being supplied by V1 and V2 at RL. So in other words, this 10,2 is here. Are we together? On your load resistor. 10,2 is there by your load resistor. So if you want to redraw this circuit, you can now redraw this circuit like this with your 10,2 here and then your load resistor here. Are we together, right? And then you can put in your R2 and your R1. This is what this circuit now looks like. Are we together? After we've done this part, because the question is asking for the current flowing here at RL. Are we together? Now let's look at the value of R1 and the value of R2. Are these two in parallel with each other in series? They are in parallel. And RL, is RL in parallel with all of them or it's in series? Okay. It is in parallel. Don't help me have a heart attack, man. It's in series with the load with the with the power supply. That means that it is in part this is in series with these two. Oh, these two okay. are in parallel okay. and it is in series with this one. Are we together, right? So I don't know what you can prefer. Some prefer, right? This is the part where I'm not going to hold any horses. Some prefer calculating the total resistance separately, right? And then they call it the Thevenin resistance, which is also fine. Or you can just, you know, mush everything together, right? Whichever way you prefer, completely fine. I've got no problem with it. So this is what I prefer you do, right? Then we now calculate the current flowing through the load resistor, right? Or you can say RL, which is your RL load. So your RL load, according to Ohm's law, how do you calculate current using Ohm's law? Yes, Natemba, you want to help us? 
How do you calculate current using Ohm's law? Current using Ohm's law. R over V. I ah, don't listen to it. V over R. V over R. Thank you. Yeah. Minerals. Ah, my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so it's V over R. So what is our V? Our V is our V terminating total. Are we together? And now our R. What's our R going to look like? That's our total resistance, right? So this RL is in series with the load resistor. Are we together? And these two are in parallel with each other. So this will now be R1, R2 over R1 plus R2. So it's now equals to uh, 10, 286 divided by 12 plus, uh, that's 6 times 8 over 6 plus 8. What do you get your answer as? So this bottom part is your V terminal, by the way. If you want to calculate V terminal separately, this bottom part is your V terminal. Are we together? What do you get your answer as? 0 0.667 667 amps This is your current flow Are we together? You can decide to calculate the V per venin separately and I mean the R per venin separately you also be fine Your R per venin will be your resistance Are we together? Right? Mm -hmm. So you can do your resistance separately I've got no problem with it, right? Or you can do it here which is also completely fine according to you So this is the venin flows